For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. After more than a week of protests against Southern Copper Corporation and the right-wing government of Peru, President Martin Vizcarra agreed to the protesters' demand to reconsider his government's recent approval of the proposed copper project. This mining project will cost around 1.4 billion US dollars and aims to extract 120,000 tons of copper per year. Since July 15th, thousands of farmers and inhabitants of the Tambo Valley in the Arequipa region of Peru have been mobilizing against the government's decision to authorize the construction of the long-resisted Tia Maria mining project. The Mexican mining company, Southern Copper Corporation, is in charge of this project. The community began the strike on July 15th in the municipality of Coca Chakra with an impressive mobilization. Hundreds of farmers took to the streets and demonstrated in the Plaza San Francisco, located in the center of the municipality. The Peruvian Ministry of Energy and Mines had earlier granted construction license to the SCC despite strong resistance by environmentalists and inhabitants. The protesters in response demanded that the government revoke the granted license considering the negative consequences that mining activities will have on the environment and agriculture. The project will cause major ecological imbalance in the region and result in water scarcity. Huge chunks of cultivable land are being taken away as well. Tia Maria is a large open-pit copper mine located in the Isle province of Peru. The mine is located two kilometers away from the Tambo Valley, which is home to over 24,000 people who are primarily dependent on agriculture. Due to its proximity to the valley, the project threatens at least 1,300 hectares of agricultural land. The decision to reconsider the approval to the mine is a victory for the peasants' movement. In Lima on Thursday, despite the police repression, hundreds of protesters took out a celebration march.